this is Toy Hound here to review a 2013 Lego Castle Dragon Mountain Lego set. And here it is in the box. It shows Lego Castle. And there's the dragon. And the other Le Lego minifigures right there. And right there. Here's what it looks like on the back. Right there. It almost looks like a classic book sort of design right here of the carrying the story out. And next I'll show you it fully assembled. And here as you can see is the 2013 Lego Castle Dragon Mountain set assembled. And it comes with it's comes with a catapult. And it's basically made out of regular Legos. I had these little handles, but the handles don't control this. It's just for ornamental or artistic look. And this part spins. Basically, it's that. And basically, you just push this and it's supposed to launch it at the dragon. And now on to the two knights. And these are the the good guys right there and they got the little weapons and no double printing on the face of that one and he's got a double printing so if you want to do the stop motion you have that option right there and pulls up just like that that's what it looks like on the front right there as well and a shield nothing on the back put them on the side right there I'll just set them on the side I don't have a Lego base plate yet so I'll just set them on the side like that and then on to the set itself and uh, I'll save the dragon for last and we'll go look at this first and there it is right there and it has this little treasure chest and you just pry it open like that and you can remove this of course and it has these little gold coins and even has like a little like a little gold bar so it's like basically the the king's treasure I think and then has these little steps that move and a little mouse or rat. So it looks like right there. And then it has this uh, villain knight right here. And he's got double sided printing right there. So you can do a nice stop motion and a weapon, of course. And then set him aside. And then you have this little. Um, jail cell thing that's holding up the, the little princess and it has a nice little printing of the, the lock and this opens up you can pull it from the back and there's the princess and it comes with two of these crowns like there's two spare pieces of the crown We'll see. Yeah, she's got double sided printing on her face too, so you want to do stop motion. There's that right there. We'll put her on the side. And now we'll show the the wizard. There's his face. Then he's got a little printing on the bottom, his chest area, where his uh little his uh, beard right there so it looks like on the top and then it has this little cape with printing on the back and he doesn't have extra printing on his face so you can't do the stop motion and he's supposed to be the wizard that controls the dragon because like on this uh little shield thing on the front right there it shows a dragon with fire coming out 
And then I I think I dropped something. I'll pick that up later. And then there's a piece right there. And then there's a little launching mechanism right here. There's a the inside area I think where the the knight would stand. And then there's this area with a little spider and this comes down and I think that's supposed to be where the the wizard makes his magic spells or whatever right, right there and lastly the best part of the set is the dragon and there's the dragon really nice He's got ratchet joints on his legs and ratchet, well it doesn't really ratchet but on his arms can kind of do that that's what it looks like on the bottom there's his face right there and he has kind of like a goatee for his uh, little flames coming out it, goes, it just rests on his chin there's his mouth, his teeth, there's the other side, and these pieces are separate right there. And there's his wings, nice painted detail on his wings right there. There's the top, nice painted detail. And this turns right there, and these flex like that. And if you want to, you can pull his head off like that, and you can actually, you can actually probably snap it over there if you want to, well, like that. So if you want a short, stubby-looking one, like a Digimon-looking dragon, you can do that. And I don't know if I did that right or not, but and that's it. It's a nice set. Be sure to thumbs up this video, comment down below, subscribe, and stay tuned for more reviews.